What's going on? What's going on, fam? This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you're having a um, an amazing day. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're back again, continuing our super, uh, series with the love of numbers. And I hope you're really putting in some work and practicing and learning more about yourself because it's all about you at the end of the day. I may be sharing my experience, but you know, I'm sharing my experience so you can learn more about yourself, okay? Because it's not about me. You know, I, I I'm with myself every day, <laughs> right? But but you're with you. So learn more about yourself each and every day, okay? And, and again, there's no cookie cutter recipe to these numbers. It's all about trusting your own intuition, your own inner guidance, and also really, you know, trusting your, you know, that gut feeling, right? You know, that inner voice, that inner oracle, you know, that's guiding you. You know, you have your ancestors, your angelic, your celestial forces that really want to help you level up. All right. And that's what that would lead you to this presentation today. So today is all about the number 19. So if you have the 19 vibration, it's all about you today. Today is your special day. It's your special moment, you know, and it's all about right now, number 19. All right. And so if you're new to this channel, you know, I like to keep things as simple as possible. I like to show how everything is interconnected and, you know, and simplicity really is the, you know, is the ultimate form of sophistication. And so you have to keep things simple. All right. So my intent is to lay everything out in a story format. That way you can, you know, pretty much piece together your own story for yourself. And that way you can get yourself back in alignment. So these numbers are set up where, you know, they carry different attributes. You have to, you know, treat them as separate entities, especially if you have a combination of numbers, right? And that way you can really key in, key in on the different attributes and characteristics of these numbers. And these are some of your hidden talents and gifts, right? And abilities. And you should notice by, you know, that you have these gifts, but you don't, you didn't know, you may not have known that these numbers play a, a very important part, you know, to these, to your talents and gifts, right? But going from left to right, number 19. So, you know, you have the number one vibration, which is the leader. Number nine is a humanitarian combining them together. You know, pretty much it's this number of surrender. The oneness, interconnectedness, the alpha and the omega, right? The beginning and the end, the head and the tail. And you are one of the ones here to bring, you know, this new paradigm. It's the guiding light. You are the sun, you right? You are the sun. You're going to, when you, when you enter the room, right, <laughs> you know, the roaches are going to scatter out because you're going to put a spotlight on any kind of dark energy. All right. And that's when you operate at your highest, but also with this vibration, it pushes you into the wheel of fortune as well. Right. And basically, you know, your thoughts, you know, create your reality, your emotions, your intent. So be mindful of the energy that you're putting out there to people because you are a change agent, all right? You are a way shower. You have that childlike mindset, right? Because there's no fear in your heart, all right? Because when a baby is born, a baby has to be taught fear, all right? All right? So this baby, you know, you're innocent. Start over from scratch. Everything you've been taught, throw it out. All right. Especially if it, if it, you know, puts you in a vibration of fear, you know, you really need to just, you know, let go and surrender those things. And that's what it is. Number of surrender. All right. But number 19 is all about you. You know, you, you are here, you, the, you know, Alpha and Omega, you here to show people what time it is with your attributes and your, your, your actions. And, uh, you know, the legacy that you're going to leave behind for people, too. All right. So a little bit more about this number 19. Let's talk about it. All right. So the ancients, you know, referred to this number as the number of surrender as your life needs to really link up with the, your, with the universal life. Now, the number 19 is that, you know, endurance vibration. It brings everything to focus, winds up old accounts and starts off anew, like I mentioned to you before. All right, people influenced by this number 19 can be completely self-absorbed, are usually you know, extroverts or often egotistical. They can also become dependent on others and will find that there are many obstacles in their path until they can really learn to balance their own needs with their needs of others. Again, you know, you're so powerful, sometimes it can be a little needy at times, right? So, but you, at the end of the day, it's all you. It's all me, right? You are the source. You are doing the work, 
All right. You following the guidance, the inner guidance, and you putting in the action. OK, so you don't need to rely on other people. You can get, get some good information from them. Right. However, you know, put that information to work. You know, do not collect information. Do not and don't use it. Right. <laughs> What's the point? So but with this number 19, again, you know, yeah, these people may also become dependent on others. You know, and really need to balance your own needs again. All right. But this is not exactly an easy number because the reason being you have that number one, which represents a new beginning and that number nine represents the ending. And now when the number 19 have determination to erase past mistakes, they then develop their true spiritual character with unshakable faith and philosophy that will sustain them. All right. Cause with this number 19 vibration, you know, it's all about creating your own belief system that works for you. All right. This is again, this is not religion here. You creating your own belief system that works for you. All right. You need to have your own relationship with your source, with, with the, the God force or source, you know, within you. All right. Your own personal relationship, that all that matters. You know, people can share their own personal perspectives and, and opinion, but at the end of the day, what's your relationship is like? Build it up. Repetition. Talk to yourself. Give yourself more encouragement when people are not around. Say great things to yourself. That self-talk is really critical with these with this number here. Because sometimes that negative Nathan, right, can get in your head and tell you, like, oh, that is, that's not gonna work. Uh, you wasting your time. Don't listen to them. Listen to the, <laughs> listen to your higher faculties here, okay? Because you can do anything you put your mind to. All right. But at the end of the day, this this number here is a lover of traveling to unusual places. You know, success and even fame are often seen with this with this number as well. However, these individuals really need constant encouragement. Okay, so if your child has this number, or, you know, friend, family, you know, they need the encouragement. This is a cheat code. And by you encouraging, encouraging, you know, these individual, right, you invoking the universal law cause and effect, right? You don't need anything tangible to give, you know, you're giving people positive energy, right? Energy is currency. So with that alone, you don't really need a lot of stuff. You need to pass people great energy, share it with them, like I'm sharing with you right now, right? So at the end of the day, you have that duality, cause and effect, good, bad, weigh your options so you can balance yourself, okay? All right, but at the end of the day, you know, these individuals can be a little stubborn and independent. Now, this energy will excel anywhere they can really show they, their leadership quality because this is a, a leadership number, the alpha and the omega, okay? These are the way shores. Now, the number 19 which equals 10 and then leads to a one relates to the experience you have chosen on your path that cannot be avoided now. Now, this also gives you the opportunity to stand on your own two feet and say that, you know, you will need all the positive traits of the number one through to the number nine to get you through the experience, okay? And that marks your completion. Now, in relation to the number 19, you are asked to use the courage, independence, leadership qualities of number one to create the humanitarian concepts and brotherly love of the number nine for all humanity and every endeavor that is on, you know, on your life path. Now, these, these have been, you know, an abuse of power in the past life for you, okay? And this, you know, present and this present life has brought you to the same place to create a balance for yourself and for others to experience you know, in this lifetime, okay? Now, projects, any project that you started, you know, lifetimes ago will be finished on this number. That's why you carry this number 19. And it, it'll be winding up old accounts, both in the past life as well in this present life as well. So when this goal has been attained, there, there may be a feeling or an urge to work with groups of people, pooling, you know, your energy with others instead of working alone. Because, you, you know, you realize at this level, if you can synergize this energy, right? And for the greater good, it's all about the greater good. Synthesize the energy for the greater good. Same mission, same purpose. Everybody can play their part, right? And, and we're good to go. It's less work. So you get more accomplished with less action, less work, because you have, an, you have a team of like-minded individuals that, that's 
helping you along your journey, sharing that great energy, right? But at the end of the day, guys, just do for a quick recap with this number 19, your challenge, let go of people and things that no longer serves you. Keep your ego in check, you know, and it's okay to have that need for encouragement. So if you do need the encouragement and you have a part, you know, a life partner or a friend, be honest with them. Say, hey, man, if you don't mind, or, you know, let them know, like, hey, sometimes I need that encouragement. You know, I have that negative self-talk and sometimes it can get the best of me, you know, but, you know, give me, you know, when you, from time to time, if you don't mind, give me some, you know, honest, genuine encouragement. A real friend or, you know, love, you know, uh, other, they will help you. They will do that for you. Cause they they know that you know you are challenging yourself, challenging yourself. But the overall thing for you, number nineteen, have determination to erase past mistakes, and you know then develop you know uh, your true spiritual characteristics. You know, and it's going to give you that unshakable faith and philosophy that's going to sustain you. Cause it's all about creating your own belief system. Okay. All right. Now, projects that will start lifetimes ago will be finished on this number. The main thing is to stay focused on your goal and vision and you utilize those seven hermetic principles daily. Share your knowledge and wisdom with people. Stay in the law. And remember, repetition is the mother of skills, right? You can get good, really good at things if you do it, you know, every day. You don't have to do it for a long period of time. Five minutes, you know, every day. schedule yourself and, and that's one of the best top secrets right there if you can ske- schedule yourself do it for about 90 days and what will happen is subconsciously your brain will kick in it will you know get used to this schedule because you built up a habit of you know after about a month right build up a little habit but that 90 day will really embed it into that subconscious and before you know it you you know you'll start doing these things, even the numbers, you know, these things will just naturally align. You'll get in the ebb and flow of the universe and you'll see that, hey, I really don't have to work hard. You know, they've been teaching us to work hard, but I don't have to work hard. And you will come to that realization. But at the end of the day, guys, <laughs> your experience are nothing more than life lesson to test you and for you to pass. And this will enable you to progress positively along your path. Again, your experience are nothing more than life lesson to test you. And this will enable you to progress progress positively along your path again the reason why you're here right now on this earth plane at this time you know because you chose to come back to change the game number 19 because you know you realize that your life is nothing more than a lesson to test you and for you to pass and once you pass these different lessons everything that you experience daily these are just many lessons for you to pass but once you past that you know those lessons this will enable you to progress positively along your path at the end of the day guys don't believe nothing I'm, I'm sharing with you you know it's all about having fun you have to tap into that inner child have fun fun will shatter fear okay so have fun learn more about yourself embrace that inner child okay at the end of the day trust your intuition don't believe nothing I'm telling you all right do your own research I'm a, I mean I will include some additional references down below, but at the end of the day, your thoughts, your belief, your words, your energy, and your action always going to equal your results. And at this present time, keep your money in check. Learn about cryptocurrency, dollar cost averaging, monthly, weekly, daily, right? Learn about dividend stock that's going to pay you quarterly, right? You know, make your money work for you. And I'll include some additional information down below. Um, But again, this is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you have an amazing day. We'll be continuing our series with the number 20 and we'll be finishing up the, the, you know, this day series and we'll go into another series, you know, directly after this. But at the end of the day, trust your intuition, guys. It's all about you. You got this. You got this. All right. The biggest mistake you can do is not take action. Take action. So this is Chris with Food Free Thoughts. Be sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. Until next time, stay grateful and focused, fam. Peace.